All right, in this video, what I wanna do is show you how to divide these two polynomials fast. And no, we're not gonna use long division. No, we're not gonna use synthetic division. Because the thing is, once students kind of learn long division, they're like, oh man, that process stinks. That takes forever. And then we get to synthetic division, and then they think it's the fastest thing to do in the world, and they always wanna do synthetic division. Well, hopefully, if you have an idea of synthetic division, you recognize that we have an issue here. Because not only do we have our term is squared, it's actually a monomial. And one thing I want to remind you of is to go back to the basics of division. When you actually are dividing polynomials and your denominator or your divisor is going to be a monomial, you could use long division, but you actually don't have to. Remember, this polynomial is all being divided by a 3x squared. So what that means is I can take this monomial and divide it into each and every one of those terms. I actually don't need to go through the long division algorithm. It's just much more quickly to divide it into every single term. If you're not following me, let's just do a quick little example. What if I had a 5x minus 10? and I said divided by five. I could use long division for this, right? Or I could simply just say, 5x to divided by five minus a 10 divided by five. It's like the division, it's like the distributive property for division. I can just divide, separate those, since these terms are separated by subtraction and I only have a single term down here, then I'm simply just gonna get a x minus two. So ladies and gentlemen, the exact same thing here, because unfortunately we can't set it up for anything synthetic division. But even if we could, I wouldn't wanna use synthetic division for this either. All I'd simply wanna do is rewrite it like this. And now all I simply need to do is use my rules of exponents to go ahead and simplify the problem. Remember, whenever we're dividing exponents, we're just going to go ahead and subtract the powers. And then anything I can do with the coefficients, I will go ahead and apply or any kind of simplifying that I can do. And since three x squared does not evenly divide in seven, I'm gonna leave that as a remainder, but I'll write it as my constant over that divisor to go ahead and give me my final term. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the quotient of these two polynomials.